All right, y'all, here we go. So this is the first segment of the glow up. Cause look at me, I told y'all I look rough. This was a real cute twist out. And then the Chicago heat was like, fuck you. Like I'm finna fuck your shit up. So luckily my boo, look, and she, she'll be there. So this, <laughs> listen, first member of the team. So wait till I'm all done up. And that's gonna be part one of this glow up because we still got to do these like look look at look at my fucking nail look at my nail my toes like just wait just wait on it okay so we'll, we'll be back oh i couldn't leave without showing y'all this so one of the main reasons i want to record this part is because everybody be like who do your locks who do your locks who do your locks? What kind of hair do she use? Number one, I don't know what type of hair she uses. It's a mystery, and she, she likes to keep it that way. So that's number one. Um, don't ask me. I don't know what type of hair it is. Like I, for the first time until hold on, can I turn this around? I I be right back. I want to show y'all something. For the first year, I couldn't see her. Like I was staring at a wall, so I didn't even know what was going on behind my head. So she could have been doing anything back there, and all I knew was like the touch. I didn't see nothing, so I really don't have no information for y'all. The other unique part about my locks is that they are pre-made. So people are like, is them crochet? No. Are they individual? Yes. Well, do she do them on your head? No. Like they're made already. Look at them all cleaning, they're drying, getting their lives. They all fresh and shit. So, yeah, like, that's pretty much it about the locks. Like, that's Rachel. I'll have her at information, but don't take my fucking appointments. But she does have somebody else on her team that does her locks. So, go to them. Don't fuck with, with my shit. I, I will snatch y'all up. Good luck getting an appointment, okay? Lock God, busiest in the city, hardest working woman I know. What you say, you been up for 24 hours? <laughs> Trying to get this money this money for Dallas? Oh, man. Yeah. Okay. okay. We lit. Big lit. Before the record, I back in action. Other than myself, to back to me. How do I get a look at her? Forgive me. Oh, that's simple. Woo! Look at this bitch. She's going to get in her locks. Oh. Oh, mm -mm. This is going in the video for the channel too. So. Talk about this going in the video. Come on. Right. Okay. Right. Pretend life aside, you'll see the absolute best way to do this for you. Y'all will see Paris on much. Saturday when she and her glove. The more no times you apologize, right the more he just doubles down with stuff. Have you? Should, uh, the before, yeah. No, I'm getting ready to start. All right, I'm back on the table, getting ready to tame these brows. They've been so out of whack, but Mimi is about to get me together because not only are we going to wax them, we're going to tint them. Wait till y'all see how this tint hit. Like, it, we already looking better. She done already got the clips, man. I'm just gonna show you all a quick before so get a good look because when she's finished like be prepared to have your mind blown all right and i'm gonna make sure i put like her style because y'all know y'all be asking how you how i get an appointment don't just don't take my appointments okay <laughs> don't take i said said this last night don't take my appointments i will push y'all on but don't take my appointments okay all right here we go get so they're not done. Now what we do is we let them marinate, okay? Like like me, you gotta let the seasoning sit on there, sizzling there a little bit. But do y'all see that motherfucking precision though? Like quit, quit playing with me. Please stop playing with her. Like, come on, man. So what's gonna happen is we're gonna sit and we're gonna marinate for about 15 minutes. And then she's gonna wipe them and they aren't going to be as dark but even like this color isn't like terrible for me um i usually like mine a little darker so that they lighten up over time and the tint lasts longer um couple questions that people always ask about tint how how long does it last mine usually lasts like so this is why it's hard for me to tell y'all how long it lasts because as mine starts to fade i start to fill it in with my brow pencil so i can't really tell how long the actual tint is on there because my brows stay filled because i'm filling them in 
However, I would probably say like maybe a solid like week. But what you bitches can't be doing, you can't be sitting there washing your fucking face. Like you have to wash around the brow. Like you got to be careful when you wash the face, you know? Um, so yes, I wash my face, but I wash around my motherfucking brows. Because we don't want to fuck them up. Um, everybody's skin does not take to tint. So that's another PSA. Like you could try whatever everybody's stuff doesn't take. Um... Yeah, so I'll come back and show you guys when they're done marinating the finished product. All right, they there. There we, there we go. Mm, 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 mm. Okay, so now that we've got the whole brow thing taken care of, let me, ladies, let me. Hold on, I might, I might have to set up for this. Hold on, I'll be right back, because now I got to rain. So, explain this, right? I'm I'm usually the type, you know, I've been plugging all of the people that take care of me. However, ladies, please do not wait um, to try somebody before you have to, like, do something, like have a birthday or graduate or some shit like that. I really be trying to support black women's businesses and services but sometimes y'all really make it so fucking hard and i'm here to talk about that okay it's like every time i have a birthday a graduation something important i know i'm not the only person that experiences like every, around your birthday every everybody want to act fuck up everything want to go wrong see i've been keeping a really good attitude because i said you know what this year i'm not going to stress about birthday shit i'm going to go into this year enjoying myself um, and I still don't consider myself to be stressed over this because I'm not going to allow it. I'm just speaking on this. So I don't, I'm not going to mention the girl who's doing my nails um, because I complain about people and still go back to them. Like if your work good, your work good. That don't mean your professionalism or your um, time management is good. Okay. So that's what I'm here to discuss. Not necessarily the quality, but the other aspects that go into having a business or providing a service. Like, so the girl's supposed to do my nails. I text her at 7.30 this morning when I got up to go to work. Telling, asking her, you know, hey, I'm your 2 o'clock tomorrow. Um, I'm just getting looking to get the address so that way I can plan because I have other appointments that are set up for tomorrow. Um, that was at 7.30 this morning. She texts me at about 7.30 p.m. saying, um... Hey, is there any way you could come in the morning early? No, no, there's not. I have other appointments. I said, if you had asked me, you know, she's like, I'm sorry for the late notice. If you had asked me before, maybe I could have moved some stuff around. But no, why am I being forced to inconvenience myself? Well, can you come tonight? It'll be late, though. Ma'am. You haven't told me why my original appointment time, which is for 2 p.m., is a problem. Like, and I literally, it's crazy because I went to her booking site, like, two weeks ago when I was getting ready to book my other stuff to see if I could shift her appointment to another time frame, right? And she ain't had nothing else available. So I'm like, okay, whatever. I'm going to just have to book everything else around this 2 o'clock appointment. And I have to go downtown, then I got to go to 71st um, over east, and then she's all the way, I'm not going to say where she's at, she's in the burbs. So, I was trying to strategically, like, plan my route, like, okay, who do I need to hit first so that I'm not going all the way downtown and coming all the way back and then meeting in the middle, that doesn't make sense. So, yeah, she didn't have shit available. So, I'm just sitting there like, so pretty much she tells me that the reason she got me my appointment is because that wasn't a time she was supposed to leave open and she made a mistake all right mistakes happen and now this is your fuck up this is your fuck up so unless it's life or death bitch i don't understand why you can't you can't inconvenience yourself to take me because this isn't my fault and then baby how didn't you know that that time wasn't supposed to be open until now. Like, when were you going to tell me? When were you going to tell me? I had to text you this morning to get an address. Like, when were you going to inform me that, one, my appointment time doesn't even work for you? Like, it's this shit. The last minute, the late notice. You know what? 
And I'm willing to let bygones be God, bygones if you let me save some money. Take some money off of my total. You you want to keep me? Please take some money off my total. We I'll forget the shit ever happened if you let me save some money. But don't you dare try to charge me the same amount of money you were going to charge me had you not inconvenienced me. Don't do that. Don't do that. So, yeah, I'm annoyed. Um, oh, let me tell you what the options were for the time. So I asked, you know, what's early? Motherfucking 6 a.m. Baby, I don't even be at work at 6 a.m. Huh? Huh? Ugh. So I asked, okay, what's late? 10 o'clock. Give me the 10, man. I'm not, if my only options are 6 or a.m. or 10 p.m., give me the 10. Now I'm just going to have to continue to run my musty ass around like I've been doing from work to the nail shop. Now I got to go see your ass because you didn't check your schedule. Like, I'm just, I'm such a planner and I'm so organized with my shit. Well, I really do not, like, I can't even conceptualize how you don't realize that you have something in place the day before, the night before, not even the day. It's not even the whole 24 hours. The day before. That, to me, I just can't even conceptualize that because I know what the fuck I have to do every single day and who I have to do it. And honestly, you got a lot of appointments. But, baby, how do you not notice that until the day before? And how, why did I, did I have to reach out to you, you know? So I'm, I'm not going to overdo it. Um... My mom was like, well, you should have picked the 6 a.m. because what if she been up all day and now she tired? I don't give a fuck. If if it's so much as a crooked, I ma'am, I need for you to go up that again. And now I just feel like the energy in the room is going to be weird because that you majorly inconvenienced me and now I have an attitude. Like now I have to talk shit about you. And it's not even talking shit. I just want y'all to, these, I, I promise you, if you give a service, please hold yourself accountable. Like, with my life coach and shit, if I got to move anybody around, I'm automatically taking something off of what I charge them. Because that's my fuck up. That's not their fuck up. You know what I mean? Like, I'm not going to sit there and try to charge somebody the same amount of money I would when I fucked up. So, we'll see. I'll show y'all what these nails look like because they need to, they better be in tip-top motherfucking shape. All right, and I'm just I'm just baffled because this person came highly recommended when I was looking for a black um, nail artist, and I'm just not I'm not happy with the way that this is going because is it because I'm a new customer? Like these are the people you need to be trying to make the impressions on the new customers. Like your old customers, they gonna deal with whatever because they have loyalty and rapport with you. But I don't even know you, so you can't be doing this out the gate. You know what I mean? I'm willing to work with somebody once I know them and we have an established relationship. However, when we don't have any of that, like my friends are in the group chat telling me not to pay her, not to go. And I'm not going to inconvenience myself because you know what I done had to do? I done had to sneak around at my nail shop, the place to do my eyebrows while I was just at that did my toes. I'm, you, no nail today? Now I'm cheating on my nail tech to come to you. I'm in there all awkward like, yeah, I'm just taking a break. Um... My friend do nails. I'm going to let her, because you know what it is? I love that shop for, like, my regular everyday stuff. However, um, when I get, like, birthday stuff or, like, glam stuff, you know, I just feel like, like, if I'm going to pay $100 for some nails, I need to feel like I got on $100, $100 nails. And when I, when I do extravagant stuff with them, I don't always feel like, one, I feel like, one, sometimes they overcharge. And two, I don't feel like what I'm getting is worth my, my hundo, okay? So I'm like, let me go to a black artist. I feel like they may be more reasonable. You know, they're going to charge their worth, but I feel like I'll probably get more for my money and leave much more satisfied. And so, yeah, I was all in there, like, feeling away because I know that I'm cheating. And I've been going to this man B who do my nails for years. We talking like five years at this point. Like, and I'm cheating on him. To deal with this shit. And I don't even want to hear what people, y'all judge black businesses harder than y'all judge everybody else. Baby, my, my Korean shop would never do this. They would never do this. I schedule my appointment and that man is there waiting on me to show up. Like, there is no, oh, can I move you? No, it's none of that. It's none of that. I really want to support y'all. So can y'all please just do better? Like, I'm going to end this rant because we're going to have a lot more video to go. But I just had to get that off my chest. Like, 
I now I have to run around like a chicken with their head cut off because I got somewhere to go before I go there. Like, okay, I this was cute. I gotta go, y'all. See you in a few when these nails are done. Okay, so let's catch up. Where do I want to start? So first of all, my nails are beautiful. Okay, she did an amazing job. Um, let me just say this. I'm a Leo, so I get very vain about my appearance. Like, things need to be in place. If my hair isn't done, if certain things aren't done, I panic and I don't like it, especially when it's in the middle of me already trying to avoid having birthday stress. So I will say she was very apologetic. She was sweet. She was, you know, very welcoming and inviting despite like, you know, me feeling away. Um, and she was she was apologetic. I, I can say, you know, there are bitches out here who would cancel your shit and not try to accommodate you. She gave me options. I appreciate that. Was it the options I was looking for? Not exactly. However, I mean, it all worked out. So as long as, you know, I'm good, you good, I stay within my nail budget. In fact, I stayed a little underneath it. So... Um, yeah, she, she wasn't giving me nothing off, but that's okay. That's okay, because I didn't spend as much as I thought I was going to spend. Um, so, I'm happy. I'll probably go to her again. Um, I'll probably recommend her to people. I just won't tell them that that's who did my nails and who that's why I was talking about this video. Because that's one thing about me. I ain't never going to stop nobody back. So, I may talk a little shit, but I'm not going to put nobody's name, no identifying information. Because, again, like, I'm not going to stop nobody back. Unless I just feel like you are out of fucking pocket. Like, out of pocket all the fucking time. But this is, you know, first impression. Um, I'm satisfied with my nails. Like, again, I said before, I hate walking around feeling like my nails wasn't worth the money that I paid. And these are definitely worth the money. I'm going to give y'all another look. Okay, hold on. Here we go. Here we go. We got marble going. It's pretty little shimmer. Um, oh, sorry. That's a oh. That's a nap. It's a nap. It's just a little nap. Um, but yeah, they came out really pretty. And of course, we have white on the toes. So you want to know the funniest thing ever is my fucking, um, I'm letting y'all all in my house. My The lady that do my toes, she always be like, white only, white only. And I just be having to remind her like, Kim, white toes get the hole. She cracked the fuck up every time. Like, we ever since I went white on my toes, I just can't go back. So it's late, it's probably about midnight. Um, I had to stop at my mama's house, chat it up, get I've been running her crazy. Y'all will have that chat um when she picked me up to take me to the airport. But yeah, all is well with the nails. I'm satisfied, you know. Step step what step we on? Three step three of the glam is complete, all right. So let's we'll reconvene tomorrow, all righty. Okay, y'all, I'm at Sunshine Beauty Bar with Britt. I'm so proud because I remember when Britt was working at DTLR, baby, and she's a business owner. Oh, Come see her on 71st, okay, right in the area. This was a quick little drive. We're going to go ahead and get started. She noticed my first set, so I was trying to get him like my friend Paris, but Paris got big ass, so I just found out that her is like real, real long. We're not going to go that long because I don't like my lashes looking like they get ready to just take off in, into the sky. So I'm going to get real cozy, take me a little nap. And we're going to show y'all the finished product, okay? Okay. Okay. We in action, y'all. We in action. These are fire. Okay. These are, uh, you know, you got to do the look down. These are fire. Not too long. Um, Just about right. Enough of a glam to, to make me feel like I'm back in action. This is what I've been missing. Come on. Come on, part. Four. Of the glow, this was all. This is all we was missing. Now we just got to get this this kitty touched, and we all done with the glam. We done with the glam. Everything else to fall into place once these outfits, these fits come out. Okay, so another step down, another happy client. All right, I'm glad everybody's on that game. I ain't had to. I ain't gonna say I ain't, I ain't had to be mad at nobody, but I ain't really had to go off on nobody like that yet. So good birthday, good bad. All right, I'm at Polish Dolls. So cute, look. Hey, boo. We're getting ready to get this wax started. 
Chrissy is, this is her business. I've watched her like really get this shit together. It's so professional. And she supported the whole time. The whole time. She's all about cleanliness. Look, cleanliness is next to godliness, okay? Um, keeping your kitty cute and exfoliated, all that good stuff. So I'm about to go through a lot of pain because I don't get waxed the way that I should. So I get punished every time I get waxed. Um, but the beautiful thing about Chrissy's skills is this is the quickest wax and it's the cleanest she ain't missing no spots no spots so i make sure i put all her information so all my ladies in the chicago land area that want to go get that kitty touched up and not only that she does facials vajayshals all, all types of waxes and you name it she waxes it okay so i will um i can't show y'all the, the after of this or the before for that matter so just know that we here we getting ready to get to business and my cat gonna be cute okay <laughs> so we're gonna go ahead and give y'all a reaction <laughs> fellas y'all really just do not understand what the hell we go through like y'all have this life shit this beauty shit so easy most some of y'all wake up with perfect skin perfect eyebrows perfect eyelashes and we gotta work for that like y'all just y'all really don't get it Oh jeez, my anxiety is rising, friend. Give me a deep breath. Woo! Yeah, no. Oh, that one was not bad. That one wasn't bad. When she gets to that middle, <laughs> baby, by the lips, that was gonna take me out. I think you're doing amazing. I think th that one was the easy one, though. The outer. Yeah, I think the outer is easier. Deep breath. I went a little lower on this one. Woo! Friend. <laughs> my booty is clenched so tight right now. Like. <laughs> Woo! It's crazy how when you like real tense, all your muscles just like go into fight or flight mode. Like. I think you doing good. I think that yeah, that wasn't terrible. Yeah, deeper. And then one. Look, Chrissy's so nice. She's like, I think you're doing good. This validation is what you need when you're really going through a time. I think you're doing great. Woo! Give me a deep breath here. And then one more. That's your nervous system. That's why. Ooh, she took that one from the middle, y'all. Yeah, it was a little hair from the like in the inside. Ooh, okay. Don't say no. I'm not. I'm here. I'm here. He was good. Yeah, the y'all. This recording is helping to keep me distracted. We're gonna feel more. Get the lady. Now, oh, Chrissy is so professional. But I will tell you, come see her, make sure you have a parking place. Because parking over here, baby, she's downtown mm -hmm. off Erie by Northwestern. That shit is a bitch. Yeah. Give yourself extra time to find a park. But it wasn't too bad. It's nice out. So I, I hit a cute little four minute walk and we was there. I don't think it's nice for a while. It's a nice uh, day down here. Mm, it's nice. We in here jamming. We got to hear this is a nice song. You want to do a deep breath down here? She, she, she just finished the crevices. We done got, got in the places that only somebody special will ever enter. <laughs> so, hopefully. Give me a deep breath. Stand one. Stand two. Okay. Look. I think somebody talking about how uh, they don't get their booty done. Baby, that's the best part. That's the best part. That's, that's, the, best part. that's the easiest part. You feel refreshed, hairless and shit? 
Give me a deep breath in. Ooh. Okay. Ooh, 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 that one was in there, baby. That was the lady was more. Woo! That's why I had to cut that was, one that was the deep. That was the deep, deep one, okay? Woo. That was the unexpected. This is just the clean up for the inside of it. Okay. Still gonna feel a little warmer. This might almost compare with now. Me getting my nipple pierced, that video is. Really? You recorded something that? else, yes. I couldn't I could not. Like that's one of the only videos I have from like years, years, years ago. That hurt so bad. Yeah. The second one I, hurt. I, I damn near. Oh, 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 oh. oh, oh. And then I was on his table and right before he get ready to do one, the fucking little chair dropped back like it wasn't in place. Oh, I was like, Oh my god. But luckily the guy who did it, he was so nice. He was a gay man. And he told me he, he had been um, piercing tits, clicks, and dicks all day. And it's not bad. That's how I job. <laughs> I'm you, done. Look, if you, that's why you got to have the right clientele. You can't be letting everybody's aura and, 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 and inner cootie energies out into the world. So the wax is all done. We nice, she be nice and pretty. You see, all oiled up. So before uh, we get into the rest of this, I just wanted to show y'all I'm taking a break because I'm tired as fuck, and I'm not gonna speak this into existence. But I feel a ah, ah, coming on, and we're not having that this bir this birthday weekend. Like we're not doing that. So what I'm doing now is I got me some tea, and while I'm making my tea, I want to tell y'all about. Um, for anybody that doesn't know, I'm in a partnership with Purest Purpose Organics, and they are a black-owned CBD company, and they make a variety of products. For anybody that doesn't know, CBD is from the marijuana plant, and um, it has all of the important and useful beneficial components that pretty much weed carries, but it has no THC. So you can take this to pretty much help you sleep, you can use it for anxiety, you can use it for pain relief. Um, and again, it's black owned, so why not support our own people already buying these products out in these stores with, you know, the other races. And so we need to make sure that our people are creating a space in the market as well. So what I like to do is I got my tea because this <coughs> isn't going to, it's not going to keep me down. I already popped some in, but I'm going to have some tea, clip this little tickle in my throat, and I'm going to just use a little bit of Purest Purpose Organics, um, Tranquil Mint. So... You see it's self-care. I got this face mask on. So I just use a couple drops. And the, the taste, it isn't overpowering. It's very um, simple. You can't even really taste it. So that's what I like about it. It's going to help me, you know, kill whatever this is going on, whatever I got going on. And before a trip, I always get really, really anxious. Like I can't sleep because I'm just excited and I'm thinking about all the stuff that I got to do and get prepared. So that's going to help take the edge off. And help me chill out because I want to take a nap. So make sure you go check them out. I have a discount code. It's Buck with B. So anytime you use that when you purchase with them, um, you get 20% off. And y'all know we love a discount. And it's free shipping. Okay. So go ahead and check them out. Purest Purpose Organics. You can type that in. I'm going to have it across the screen. And yeah, get your life. 